so long since I've seen someone live in these halls. So, so, so long. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> how very exciting. <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. <laughs> Silly, 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 silly. That's not how you welcome such a lovely guest. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Just calm down. Deep breath. Take a deep breath. Relax. I can do this. Just talk normally, and don't let your evil laugh get the best of you. I got nothing to lose, right? I'm dead anyways. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, did you hear all of that? You did? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to wake you up. Please, don't panic. I just tend to talk to myself quite a lot, since there's no one else around here. It's always just me. It gets quite lonely at times. I don't tend to notice how far my voice echoes throughout the house. <sighs> how silly of me. I don't mean to scare you. Not one bit. I could scare anyone else. But I couldn't bring myself to scare you. Never. I don't want to see that lovely face terrified. Not ever. How could I? I would never forgive myself if I did. I just wanted to meet you. I just couldn't help myself. Watching you all this time. And you didn't even notice me. I was afraid to reveal myself. I didn't think you'd like what you'd see. But I just had to meet you. At least once. Since you moved into this house. You had no idea, did you? That there was a strange presence here. One that never really left. All the previous owners. Everyone I've ever revealed myself to ran away for their lives, trembling from head to toe. It seems that's all I'm good for, only scaring the living daylights out of everyone who comes through that door. But you, I knew you were different from the previous owners as soon as I saw you. You moved in here with no hesitation whatsoever. There wasn't a single sign that you were scared. I admire that. I really do. So I told myself, this could be my chance to finally talk to someone. Someone Oh, how do you say it? As cute as you. Or would you run away like everyone else? But the fact that you're still here 
listening to what I have to say and not screaming means you're not scared of me, are you? You're not afraid. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't know how happy that makes me feel. Well, I may not feel the same way you do, but just know that you brought a smile to this empty, frigid soul. Ah, I spent days building the courage to reveal myself to you, trying so desperately to find the right words to say. I, I don't know why, but every night, I saw you curl up next to the fireplace with a warm drink in hand, and I, I just wanted to be there with you. I just wanted to feel warm next to you, curl up next to you. I mean, I just wanted to know what it felt like. Because you look like such a lovely person, and I couldn't help but think of that for days. After living in the cold for so, so long, one can't help but think of how it must feel to be close to someone again. I was growing tired of endlessly roaming around these empty halls, watching the days and nights blend into one, wondering when the next person would walk through those doors. And finally, you came in. My frozen eyes lit up like matches at the sight of you. <laughs> it's true. I knew I had found someone who would understand me. Call it a ghost's intuition. And a ghost's intuition is never wrong. But I do wonder, why weren't you scared of me? I didn't even manage to make you shiver. Oh, what? You don't find me scary at all. Oh dear, there goes the last of my self-esteem. It seems I can't even be good at being scary when I want to. Hey, d don't, don't laugh. I can be scary if I want to. Well, if you don't believe me, I guess I can show you. Where am I now? Hmm? You can't tell. <laughs> oh, how adorable. It is when you look around frantically, not knowing where I could be. <laughs> I could be to your left. I could be to your right. I could be anywhere ready to give you a fright. scared? Not even a little bit? Oh, I guess I'm not as scary as I thought I was. I do enjoy a good scare from people from time to time, but I would never want to scare you. A part of me 
is actually quite relieved. If you were afraid of me, then I would have never been able to talk to you, and I really do enjoy your company. More than you think. I guess I could be your friendly ghost then. All for you. Just for you. I'll keep you company, and I'll keep you safe. You'll have nothing to worry about while I'm here. You just call my name, and I'll appear right next to you to listen to all your needs, answer your questions, comfort you when you're down, and whisper your worries away. I'm willing to do it for you every day if necessary. That is how much you mean to me. Oh, just watching your cute smile like that and those eyes, oh, those gorgeous eyes, filled with wonder and excitement. It just makes me melt. Wait, can ghosts melt? Oh dear, I don't want to find out. <laughs> I haven't felt like this in such a long time. And I like it. It's nice and warm. And it makes me feel more alive than I have felt in decades. You make me feel more alive than ever. I... I just wanted you to know that. And for once, I finally managed to get something off my chest, instead of burying it so deep that it never sees the light of day. It feels so wonderful. You are absolutely wonderful. The most wonderful guest this house has ever had under its roof. I think it's time now for you to rest. Don't worry, I'll be here watching over you. I'll make sure that there's no monster in your closet, no boogeyman underneath your bed. I'll stay right by your side whispering you to sleep. And if you ever have a nightmare, I'll come and save you. I'll be here. Uh, you're too sweet. You're too pure. You're such a lovely sight. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Thank you. Sweet.